What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. These are, these are free general collective readings, caps to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading for all signs. Caps to decide. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 10, um, no. 13,150, hold on, yeah, 13,150 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel, if you'd like to donate, type your sister on five, the link's in the description box below, PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo, very private, confidential way to donate, if only if you feel guided to donate, okay, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, um, just saying, just saying, okay, so, um, let's, I wasn't going to do this one because I'm about to go get my kids. I just talked to my daughter just a little bit ago, and I'm about to go get her and my son. But um, I got it channeled in, so I'll go ahead and deliver it. Uh, we might, I'll do a short reading on it, but I'm not going to make it long, I promise you. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Burks. Okay. So um, the channel message I received was um, a uh, karmic blood uh aunt karmic blood cousin and karmic um hold on there's a, oh karmic um stepmother i heard karmic blood aunt karmic blood cousin and um and karmic stepmother are about to be charged with medicaid fraud soon they're not seeing this coming but it's about to happen soon through many series of chain events they're about to be pissed that's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Medicaid fraud. Um, yikes. I, I, hell, I don't want to get involved in that shit. You plug it in how it resonates. Medicaid fraud. Um, it, I heard of, car, they're all karmics. I feel this is somebody you know or you're connected to or they frauded you. Um, is what I'm feeling. Um, but you only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug these people and situations in how they resonate, if they resonate for you. But I heard car they're all karmics, karmic blood aunt. So she's a blood aunt, bloodline, ancestral generational bloodline to you, karmic aunt, karmic cousin, so um female karmic cousin. So these are all females, all females. So she's a female karmic cousin to you, but she is um bloodline descendant of you cousin. And karmic stepmother so she's a karmic stepmother to you or somebody you're connected to um that's obviously not bloodline related um about to be charged for medicaid fraud soon um i heard they're not seeing this coming um i heard it's going to happen through many series of chain events so it's upcoming in the universe and that's another reason why i felt like i needed to go and do this one and not just wait on it um because um I don't know if it's going to resonate tomorrow, in a week, two weeks. I don't know when it's going to resonate. So I just felt I need to go and put it out. But um, through many series of chain events, they're not going to see it coming. And it's about to shock the hell out of them. So blindside energy, they're going to be shocked. Or they thought they were protected. Um, and for all this fraud, which is federal offenses, I mean, that's serious shit. Um, but through many series of chain events, it's about it's about to blindside them. So you plug it in how it resonates. They're all feminine energies. Um, you might know one of these people, two of these people, two plus of these people, or none of these people. I'm not sure. You have to plug these people in your own life while they resonate. If they resonate. I've got imprisonment on the bottom of the deck. Number 29 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 29, it could be a possible age of one of these people or age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 29, imprisonment upright. I heard they're about to be charged with fraud, Medicaid fraud. So I'm, I mean, let me see if I hear anything else. I can't imagine how that's not at least jail time, if not prison. Um, I, I saw many people when I lived on NASJRB in Fort Worth, Texas, in prison, women in prison for fraud. So this is Medicaid fraud.
They are about to be in some serious hot water very soon and very quickly. Heavy legal issues coming. Heavy. They are about to be in some serious hot water soon. Some sevy, uh, sevy. Heavy legal issues coming soon and quickly. So, um, serious hot water. I'm assuming with police because we have imprisonment upright. So I'm assuming this is serious hot water with police or federal agents or maybe both. Um, serious hot water with the law is what I'm feeling. Um, and um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling because we have imprisonment on the bottom of the deck. I didn't hear jail. I didn't hear prison, but many series of chain events I think is going to lead to this is what I'm feeling. Um, and serious hot water with police, investigators, um, or feds, or something of that nature. Um, well, they shouldn't have did what they did. Medicaid fraud? Uh, so they frauded somebody? Their Medicaid benefits? I mean, what? Experiment to this year. And I heard a karmic stepmother, so I think it's, um, I think, I heard karmic stepmothers. I think the karmic stepmother, whether it's your karmic stepmother or somebody you're connected to's karmic stepmother, I think she frauded child or children's Medicaid benefits. I mean, there's a reason I'm pulling in a karmic stepmother. I think this has to do with kid or kids too. And maybe adults for some. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. This is sick. They're all feminine energies. I've got immature woman on the bottom of the deck. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Immature woman, reverse number six could be a very significant number in one's life. Number six, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number six, immature woman, reverse. These are very, 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 very immature people. Very. Many, 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 many people are getting huge wake-up calls about this. Many. About to start creating many negative series of chain events for them. Okay, I heard these are basically very immature people. They're very immature people. And we pulled immature woman on the bottom of the deck. So, I mean, that's confirmation from the spiritual messages and the cards. Um, and these are psychic intuitive messages. Just to let everybody know, psychic intuitive messages. I'm trying to put that on every single one of my videos. And it's in the disclaimer box as well. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your situation and story. So, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But um, immature energy here. Very immature energy. And, yes, if they are stealing, I feel for some of these people, it's child or children's Medicaid benefits. And I'm just being for real, because why are we pulling in a karmic stepmother? Um, and um, and maybe for some of these situations, grown adults, Medicaid, uh, adult or adults, Medicaid benefits. Um, that That is, Lord, this is terrible. This is, this is very immature behavior. Very. This is criminal behavior. Criminal behavior. Criminal immature behavior. I heard it's going to shock them, but I don't know why it's going to shock them unless they thought they were protected. Um, in the community and people knew about this. Um, but I heard basically a crap ton of people know they're very immature and basically they're going to start creating negative series of came events for them. So I don't know how many people knew about this is what I'm saying, but it sounds like whether people knew or didn't know they're, they're either finding out or they have already found out or they're about to find out and they're going to create negative series of came events. I feel for some of you guys, you're the ones about that you have found out or you're about to find out. And you're the ones getting huge wake-up calls about these people, and you're about to create negative series of chain events for them. This is exactly what I feel, and that's why I feel I'm pulling this in. Because I feel you guys are about to be the ones to create the negative series of chain events for them, is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. Immature woman reverse. Very immature behavior. Now, we all, like, I've said it a million times on here, and I'll say it again. This person, the immature stepmother, the immature bloodline aunt or the immature bloodline cousin, all feminine energies, it doesn't matter what physical age they are. What matters is their mental capacity. And I don't care if they're 65, 55, 45, 35, 25. You can be very mentally mature at 25 years old. You can be very mentally mature at 35 years old. You can be very 
mentally immature at 55 or 45 or 65. It's not your physical age. It is how you treat people. Whoever these people are, they don't treat people right. I'll tell you that. So much so they have went to greatest lengths to fraud. I think some adults, some child or children, which is sick. Let me pull one more and then I'm going to close it. Okay. Privileged lady upright. Child reversed. These people have gotten very, very, very rich off of lying about having possession of ch some one child, some two plus children. It's about to seriously backfire on them. Okay, I heard these people have gotten very, very, very rich off of some claiming they have possession of one child, some two, and two plus children. It's about to seriously backfire on them. So they're, it is about children then. We have child reversed. I told you guys earlier I felt it was about children with this karmic stepmother. Um, so they're claiming child or children, Medicaid benefits for child or children, and they don't even have custody of these child or children, or that's what I'm feeling. That's exactly what I'm feeling. They're claiming Medicaid benefits for child or children, and they don't even have custody of these child or children. Wow, man, that's some sick crap. So they're in the energetic space as a privileged lady, but it's because they are um, lying. They're lying. They're lying. They don't have custody of child or children. Um, for some, it is adults. Family member adults. For some, it is family member adults. So for some, they're claiming they have custody of a family member adult. Um, custody? I mean, how the hell would you have custody of a freaking adult unless they are, um, they're not mentally, cognitively can take care of themselves, I'm presuming. But um, I don't know how that works. I don't know. Um, that's the only way I presume you could have custody of an adult. Um, I'm presuming. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not, um, do not work in the legal sector. I'm not sure, but for some, it is adults they're claiming these Medicaid benefits for, though. I will tell you that from the spiritual downloads. Some, it's adults, and they don't even, the adult don't even live with them, um, is what I'm feeling here. Most certainly do not live with them. Most certainly do not live with them. Okay, it's confirmation. So, so yeah, for some, it's adult or adults they're claiming lives with them, and it's some kind of Medicaid benefits they're drawing off this person or people, but they don't even live in the same household. Um, for some it's child or children. They don't even live in the same household and they don't, and children you'd have to have custody of. They don't have custody of the child or children. Child reversed. They don't have, they don't even live in the same household, nor do they have custody. Oh, uh, like any custodial rights. I heard they're about to be shocked, but they shouldn't be shocked because this is sick. So they basically have become privileged lady off of I heard family members, so family members. They have become the privileged lady off of family members here um, that they don't even have custody of, nor do they have parental right or rights to, if we're talking about the children. Or if we're talking about the adults, the adult or adults don't even live in the same house, household with them. This is crazy, man. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is about to start happening fast, 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 fast. Definite police involvement very soon. This is about to start happening fast, fast, fast. Definite police involvement soon. And number 12 or 18 could be very significant numbers in one's life as well. I think I said that, but 12 or 18, it could be possible age of this child or children um, or uh, age of adult or adults. 12 or 18. I heard his police involvement is definitely going to get involved soon and it's about to start happening fast. This is, this is sick, is what this is. Mm. 
Let me pull one energy and then I'm going to close it. This is sick. Hostilities, her take it, number 26 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 26, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number, number of one's life. Number 26, hostilities. These people are about to be pissed. Piss, 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 piss. The state is about to be up their ass in a very negative way and other heavy legal issues. The, uh, oh, okay. I heard these people are about to be pissed. So they're about to be pissed because they're about to be busted, basically. And I heard the um, state is about to be up their ass and they're about to be pissed about that. So the state, because of the Medicaid benefits for people that don't even live in the same household with them, nor do they have parental right or rights or custodial right or rights over them. Um, but they should. The state should be up their ass because this is fraud and this is theft and this is so many charges. I heard the police going to get involved too, and they should. So they're going. Uh, they some of them might be hostile when the police come and get them. I'm feeling because we're pulling hostilities energy. I'm feeling because this hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universal space. So I don't feel this has happened yet for whoever this is for. Um, for some, you could be the police about to take these people in, possibly. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I feel for some, you could be the police. For some, you could be investigators. For some, you could work for the state. For some, you could know these people. But, um, how this resonates, but I feel they might be aggressive. They, I heard they're immature. So, when they come in, I don't know if they're going to come in for questioning or if the police are going to come to the door and arrest them. Or, I don't know how this process works. I'm not the police. But I heard they're very immature. So when this happens, whatever communication the state's about to be up their ass about and the police, um, I'm assuming they're probably going to get arrested. I'm assuming. They're going to be very hostile. I think hostile and mean and aggressive and uh, because they're immature is what I'm feeling. They're not going to want to, um, I'm assuming, pay back the money or go to jail or have take responsibility for their actions. Um, because they like living off of other people's money and benefits. One of these situations is going to get so out of hand. One of these feminine energies will end up being charged with way more than what she was intentionally going to be charged with. Because of the behavior. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. Um, so there's at least, well, there's at least three situations in the universe. Um, but in one of these situations, I heard one of these fem energies, um, it sounds like, I guess, when the police come or feds come or our police. So I'm going to say police or investigators or somebody comes um, or however this goes down, I guess. Um, she's going to get so aggressive and so hostile that she's going to end up being charged with more charges than what they intended on intentionally charging her with. So I think this is going to be one of the feminine energy's hostile behavior when they come to read her her rights, I'm presuming, her Miranda rights, I'm presuming. Um, oh, my Lord. So not only are they going to be pissed, they're caught, but one's going to act out. One is going to act a fool, basically. One is going to act a damn fool, like physical hostility, I'm feeling physical, like, I wonder if she's going to resist arrest or put hands on the officer or officers, um, like, nugget to you bucket, like, physical nugget to you bucket, like, with the officers. Like, I would never do that. I don't care how pissed I was last year when all that shit happened to me. I don't care how pissed I was. I never put a hand on the damn officer when they arrested me. I'll tell you that. I knew better than that shit. I knew better than that. Um, cause that's resisting arrest and assault of a police officer and all kinds of shit. So I, I knew better. I knew better, but whoever this person is, she, I heard she's very aggressive and she's basically going to act out. She's very spoiled, but someone is highly intuitive and knows this. 
She's very spoiled, but someone is highly intuitive and they know this. So I feel one of you guys might be, you might be onto her is what I'm feeling. I think one of you guys might be onto her. I think you're highly intuitive and you're on her ass. Because um, I heard she's very spoiled, but one of you guys is highly intuitive and you know this. So whoever you are, I think you're about to turn her in um, or you're about to go get her. Um, if you're police or investigators or something. You plug it in how it resonates there, sir, ma'am. Um, yikes. I wouldn't want to be involved in this crap. That's the truth. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to get my kiddos. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good night. Namaste.